When it comes to making money and setting yourself up financially in the future, it is absolutely possible to completely change where you are, regardless of if you are starting from absolutely nothing or starting from a great base. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the five money truths. Now, these are the lessons that I've learned personally from buying over $350 million worth of property for myself and my clients over the last 10 years, as well as starting multiple businesses. Now, These are kind of like the hacks or the fast way to sort of get from where you are right now to where you want to be. And so many of us grew up with this concept of money doesn't grow on trees or people that are wealthy are bad or greedy or whatever other hangups you have around money and whatever they are, wipe them from the slate as of now because these are the real things that are the game changers. So the first thing you need to acknowledge and if I was sitting down with my 22 year old self, I wish I could shake him and say, listen to this one and that is you won't get rich quick now every single person that i talk to wants to do it all and wants to be in the position right now today and that's especially true for people that are younger and just coming through now because we're so used to instant gratification we expect money to just appear but money only appears if you are disciplined have the right strategy in place and realize that it's going to take some time to do this so it takes longer than you expect it will to actually create full-on financial independence and wealth for life now not everybody can create an uber not everybody can create a facebook but what i'm talking about is people like me who would just love to own a couple of properties or have a nice business owned completely outright that continues to provide an income source for life. Now, whether that's $50,000 a year or $300,000 a year, what I'm talking about is money that comes in whether you're awake or you're asleep. But those people that sit there and just go from idea to idea to idea without putting in the work, without putting in the time, without doing the right research, that are chasing the short-term returns are actually never gonna get there. And I'm sure you know heaps of people in your life like that that are always looking for the quick and easy fix. The second thing that I wanna to say to you and that I wish I could say to myself was uh, when I was a little bit younger is, it's all going to work out. It's all going to be okay. Because if you are disciplined, if you do have the right strategy in place and if you realize that it's not gonna happen straight away, you can get yourself in a much, much better financial position long term. Now, it's not all going to be okay if you just sit down and meditate on it and pray for it every single day and don't take the steps that you need to to achieve this stuff. But if you pay yourself first, if you invest the percentage of what you earn over time, if you Find a mentor who's exactly where you'd like to be financially in whichever area of the financial life that you're interested in, business, shares, property, crypto, whatever your thing is, and that person's actually been doing well in that space and not well in that space in a very short period of time, but well in that space over a long-term period of time, decade or decades. And if you continue to keep looking and learning for opportunities around getting financially free and getting yourself in a better financial position, then you will find the way. Now, not every single path leads to the same spot. There's 15 different ways to get there and sometimes you break off here and sometimes you go there and sometimes you miss where you want to be or over exceed it. Sometimes you come up a little bit short and you've got to pick yourself up and go again. But that's what I've realized is that there's so many different ways to get to where you want to be. It's all going to be okay if you do the right things from the right place for a long-term period of time. Now, the third thing I wanted to talk about is it'll happen quicker than you can even imagine right now. Now, I had a goal, a young man's goal at 24 years of age to be completely financially free by the age of 30. Now, I didn't quite achieve that goal in the way that I wanted to, but by the time I was 30, I had a couple of kids, a couple of businesses, and a bunch of properties. So that was probably the reason why. But where I was at 30 compared to where I was at 24 was exponentially better than I could have imagined. So what I realized is it didn't happen in the first six months or the first five years like I was hoping it to. 
but it did happen a lot quicker and that was a result of the compound growth effect of investing money and saving money over time. It was also the result of taking the risk and starting my own businesses as opposed to working for somebody else and that is absolutely not for everybody and that is certainly not advice that you should follow. Running a business is super stressful. You'll work way more hours than you ever did as an employee. You'll never be able to sleep probably again until you figure it all out and you know there's a hell of a lot of shit that goes on with running a business but the returns in terms of financial can be significantly better than working for someone else and losing 30 to 50% of that money in tax. Now, the reason it happens quicker than you would expect is because opportunities present themselves that you can't even foresee right now. Opportunities come out of the woodwork when you start living your life's purpose, when you start investing, when you start looking after your financial life opportunities come out that you would never be able to realize right now and it's a case of analyzing those opportunities and seeing where you sit from there. Now, the fourth thing and what I think is the absolute most important thing in terms of these money truths is you need a plan. Now, I'm gonna underline that one, that's how important I think that one is. Having a plan is absolutely the difference between getting to where you wanna be in 12 months, 20 years from today, and not getting there. Now, it's all well and good to say, I would like to be financially free, I would like to be wealthy, I wanna replace my income, but if you don't have a plan sitting there for exactly how you're gonna go and do it, it means absolutely nothing. You're just talking shit, go have some more beers and go talk about how you're gonna do it again. You know what I mean? Like, let's get real about this for a moment and call it what it is. You don't get a better body from putting crappy food into yourself, not sleeping, not moving, not hanging out with other fit people. You get a better body from looking after yourself consistently. Now, the difference or the, sorry, the similarity between health and finances is crazy close. Now, with getting in good physical condition, you set a plan for where you would like to be, and then it's a series of daily activities around diet, exercise, and lifestyle that enable you to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And the way I learned that was from you know planning on running a marathon and then reverse engineering it backwards to a couple of steps that I needed to take to get there. And some days were great, some days were super hard. I couldn't walk for a couple of days after the event, but what it helped me build was a mental toughness that if I do the right activity for six months, I can get the right result. And investing is no different. Now, your plan is so simple. It is simply to replace your current annual salary or current household income with passive income within 10, 15, 20 years from today. Now, you can do that from businesses, you could do that from shares, you could do that from crypto, you could do that from property, you could do that 50,000 other different ways, but what you need is a simple plan based on where you would like to be down the line, what your next immediate step is and how that step links to the next one. So let's say you wanted to do it from property perspective, for example. Um, in the next 12 months, you go out and buy one home and then maybe 12 months, two years after that, you go out and buy another home. Now, after you've bought those two houses, what you might come back and do if, if you're smart is add a granny flat on each of those homes. Now, let's just say right now that you go out there and do that. Um, let's say that house one costs $400,000 and the granny flat costs one twenty. So we're talking about $520,000 of combined money. Um, most of it will be lent by the bank to you, obviously. And then the same thing is true for the second house and second granny flat. We go out there, we buy another house for 400K and another granny flat for 120,000. Now, the house would rent for 380 to 400 bucks a week and the granny flat would rent for 280 to 300 bucks a week. So either way, we're getting about $660 a week from this house and $660 a week from this house. But if you come forward 15 years and you allow this time thing because you know you're not gonna get rich to work out, you can see that with compound, the effect of inflation over time or compound growth on the rental return, you might be getting 900 bucks to $1,000 a week times two per property in 15 years time from today. Now, if your goal was to replace a $100,000 salary 
All you have to do is get two properties in 15 years time, renting for a thousand bucks each per week, 50 weeks of the year because you've bought in a great area and a great location. And then you just have to figure out how to own those properties outright. Now there's a heap of different ways to do that, but what I wanted to make you aware of is it doesn't have to be this complicated, incredibly detailed strategy. It can be as simple as one high quality house, another second high quality house when you can afford it, a granny flat on each of them, and then paying off those properties over a 15 year period of time so that in 15 years you can have the passive income thing for life. Now, I know for some people 15 years feels like, oh my gosh, I can't do what I'm doing. And the cool thing about this is maybe you can buy these properties over the next five years, and in five years time, because you know you've got your foundation in place, you can go retrain, you can start a business, you can go and do, change industries and do something that you love so that you're enjoying the next 15 years of the journey, not just waiting for some end point that may or may not come depending on how disciplined you are over that 15 year period of time. So there's so many different ways to get there and that's what I really want you to understand and truly believe in because there's not just you know one way, we can get there multiple ways. Now, the fifth thing that I wanted to touch on there is you can have it all. You can have it all. Now, what I'm talking about there is, you know, if you wanna go drive Lambos and Ferraris and have 10 houses on the beaches, then this sort of simple thinking is not gonna work. You're gonna to have to go out there and start a, a big business, make that business profitable, invest the profits from that business into other investment classes so that over time you're making more and more money. But if you want the simple, strategy and a simple life where you get to spend time with the people you care about, where you get to travel more, train more, volunteer more, do work that you enjoy, have choices in your life and really spend meaningful time in your life doing the things that you enjoy. Which I think having it all to me is really having choices. If you wanna work like a maniac and go really hard, then you go out there and do that. But if you wanna sort of pull it back and enjoy your lifestyle a bit more, then go out there and do that. So what I've learned over the last 10 years, and I've, I've been such an achievement oriented person and personality type that the last 10 years has felt like a bit of a pushing a rock up a hill. And now that I've got the rock to the hill that I wanted it to be on, what I'm realizing is that I didn't necessarily have to do it that way and just focus on one thing, which was business and investing for 10 years. I could have done it a lot of different ways and it's really important if you're just starting out or halfway through your journey towards financial freedom to recognize that you can have it all. You can make time in your life for your family, for yourself. You can make time in your life for investing or for starting businesses or finding a way to increase your income. There is so much time in the day if you, are, you get serious about this sort of thing and you really start to look at things from a choice perspective and where do I really want to be perspective in the future as opposed to where I think I wanted to be. Now, I was delusional when I was 24 when I set a lot of the goals that I went out there to try and achieve before I was 30 and one of those delusions was I wanted to be worth you know, tens of millions of dollars. Now, I don't even know where that goal came from. I think I read it in some book from um, Robert Kiyosaki and he's just like, go big. So that was kind of my mantra but as I've had three children and changed careers and started businesses and invested and done well in some investments and really badly in others, I've realized that what I personally want and I think what most of us want is high quality choices in our life to do the things that we really care about and that actually sit in line with our personal value system. Now, I've learned that my value systems around contribution and meaning and I get a lot of that through business and around hanging out with my family and having an epic lifestyle with my friends that's fit, that's active and that, that I get to explore the world with. Now, everybody wants different choices. Some of you right now might just be going, I just wanna get out of my fucking job because I cannot stand going in there for one more day. Other people will love what they're doing and will already be living it and if you are already living it or if you're not, you can make the choice to start living it almost immediately, you know what I mean? Like there's so many different reasons. I sort of walked the 
one path, one size fits all. Just keep grinding and bashing through it and, and pushing the rock. But I don't think it has to be like that. And now I'm trying to create a life that's significantly more balanced for myself and for the people that we help. So they're my five truths around money. You won't get rich quick, but you will get into a good financial position quicker than you can imagine right now. It's all going to be okay and it is all going to work out for you over time. It just takes time and take the pressure off yourself. Get educated on one thing as opposed to 10 things and start where you are right now. Your plan is the absolute most important thing and the way to get to financial freedom is simple if you have the right strategy and plan in place for you. And I also believe now that becoming financially free is about choices and that you can have a good lifestyle and a good business or a good job. You can have high quality investments without earning an absolute fortune and you can literally start from nothing and actually like I did, build high quality assets and businesses over time to change your financial position long term. Now, for me, it's still a journey. I'm not sitting here pretending going, I'm exactly where I wanna be and every day is hunky-dory and perfect. There's hard days no matter what you do, whether it's your passion or whether you're just grinding it out. But when you have the right plan in place and you realize that it is all going to work out for you, things happen with a lot less friction and 15 years from now, you'll be completely shocked with where you end up. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Um, if there's another video you'd like to me like me to record, please chuck it in the comment section below. And I generally mean this, like good luck with everything you're doing, whether you're just starting out or taking it to that next level. I wish you all the best with your investing, with your job, with your family, with your businesses, and just recognize some of these things and take some of that pressure off yourself that I'm sure you're feeling right now and feel some days myself as well. Cheers guys.